Hello everyone, you're welcome to solve this nice math problem, which is the square root of 6 plus square root of 2 divided by square root of 8 raised to the power of 9. Now let's provide a solution from here. We can express the square root of 6 as square root of 2 times 3, then plus square root of 2 divided by square root of 8, which we can express as square root of 4, multiplied by 2, everything here, raised to the power of 9. Now, square root of 2 times 3, and square root of 4 times 2, this is in the form of square root of a, multiplied by b, which we can express as square root of a, times square root of b. Now, Applying this identity, then here we have the square root of square root of 2 multiplied by square root of 3 plus square root of 2 divided by square root of 4 multiplied by square root of 2. Everything here raised to the power of 9. Since square root of 2 is common here, we can factor out square root of 2 so that we'll have square root of 2 into the parentheses. This is square root of 3 plus 1. Everything here divided by square root of 2 times square root of 4. Everything here raised to the power of 9. So let's simplify square root of 2 and 2 here, so that now we have in the numerator, this is square root of 3 plus 1 divided by square root of 4, which is 2. Everything here raised to the power of 9. The next step is that we can let x be equal to square root of 3 plus 1 divided by 2. So the question here is what is the value of x to the power of 9? Now, this is x equal to square root of 3 plus 1 divided by 2. Let's call this equation 1. Now we have x is equal to square root of 3 plus 1 divided by 2. Let's multiply both signs by 2 so that now we have 2x. This is equal to square root of 3 plus 1. Now let's take plus 1 on the left hand side so that we have 2x subtract 1. This is equal to square root of 3. Now, the next step is to square on both sides. So that now, 2x minus 1 to the power of 2. This is in the form of a minus b to the power of 2, which we can express as a squared plus b squared minus 2ab. Applying this algebraic identity, then here we have 2x squared, this is 4x squared, then plus minus 1 squared, this is plus 1, then subtract 2 times 1 times 2x, this is equal to square root of 3 to the power of 2, so this is equal to 3. Now, we have 4x squared minus, this is 2 times 2x minus 4x plus 1. Let's take 3 on the left hand side, minus 3. This is equal to 0. Now we have 4x squared minus 4x. Then we have plus 1 minus 3. This is minus 2. This is equal to 0. The next step is to take minus 4x minus 2 on the right hand side so that we have 4x squared. This is equal to 4x plus 2. Now we have that 2 is common here so we can factor out 2 so that we have 2 into the parentheses. This is 2x plus 1. So let's divide both sides by 2. So that now, we have that, here we have 2x squared, this is equal to 
2x plus 1. Let's call this equation 2. Let's call this equation 2. Now, we have 2x squared. This is equal to 2x plus 1. Since we are solving for x to the power of 9, let's proceed here. Let's square on both sides from here. So that here we have 2x squared to the power of 2. This is 4 x to the power of 4 this is equal to let's expand this this is 2x plus 1 to the power of 2 so this is 4 x squared then plus 1 squared this is 1 then plus 2 times 2x two times 1 so this is plus 4 x now we have 4 x to the power of 4 this is equal to we can express 4 x squared as 2 multiplied by 2 x squared then plus 4 x then plus 1 now we have 4 x to the power of 4 this is equal to 2 multiplied by 2 x squared this is in equation 2 which is the same thing as 2 x plus 1 so let's substitute this so here we have 2 times 2 x plus 1 then plus 4x plus 1. So we have 4x to the power of 4. This is equal to 2 times 2x. This is 4x. 2 times 1. This is plus 2. Then plus 4x. Then plus 1. So we have 4x to the power of 4. This is equal to 4x plus 4x. This is equal to 8x. Then plus 2 plus 1, this is plus 3. Now, we have 4x to the power of 4. So let's again square on both sides. This is equal to 8x plus 3 raised to the power of 2. So we have 4 squared, this is 16. Then we have x to the power of 4 times 2, which is 8, so we have 16x to the power of 8. This is equal to, let us expand this. This is 8x squared. We have 8x squared plus 3 squared, then plus 2 times 3 times 8x. So that now we have 16x to the power of 8. This is equal to, this is 64 x to the power of 2, then plus 3 squared, which is 9, then plus, we have 8x times 3 times 2, this is equal to 48, this is 48x. Now, the next step from here, we have 16x to the power of 8, this is equal to, we can express 64x squared as 32 times 2x squared plus 9 plus 48x. Therefore, we have 16x to the power of 8. This is equal to 32. Multiplying by 2x squared. Remember, 2x squared is the same thing as 2x plus 1 from equation 2. Then plus 9 plus 48x. Now we have 16x to the power of 8. This is equal to that 2 times 2x. This is 64x. Then plus that 2 times 1. This is that 2. Then plus 9. Then plus 48x. So here we have 16x to the power of 8. This is equal to 64x plus 48x, this is 112x, then plus, that 2 plus 9, this is equal to 41. Now, since we are solving for x to the power of 9, let's multiply by x on both sides. So we have 16x to the power of 8 times x to the power of 1, this is equal to 112x plus 41, everything here, multiplying by x.
so we have 16 x to the power of this is 8 plus 1 this is x to the power of 9 this is equal to 112 x times x this is 112 x to the power of 2 then plus 41 x now here we have 16 x to the power of 9 this is equal to we can express 112 x to the power of 2 as this is the same thing as 56 multiplied by 2 x squared then plus 41 x let's substitute 2 x squared so that we have 16 x to the power of 9 this is equal to 56 into the parenthesis 2 x squared this is the same thing as 2 x plus 1 then plus 41 x let's open the parenthesis here we have 16 x to the power of 9 this is equal to 56 times 2x. This is 112x. Then plus 56 times 1. This is 56. Then plus 41x. The next step is that we have 16x to the power of 9. This is equal to, we have 112x plus 41x. Then we have 153x. Then plus 56. Now, if you recall from equation 1, we have that x is equal to square root of 3 plus 1 over 2. So let's substitute x with square root of 3 plus 1 over 2. So we have 16 x to the power of 9. This is equal to 153 multiplying by square root of 3 plus 1 over 2 then plus 56 so let's open the parenthesis here we have 153 times square root of 3 this is 153 square root of 3 then plus 153 times 1 this is 153 everything here divided by 2 then plus 56 so we have that 56 is our number, so this is over 1. So we have that the LCM here is 2. So that 2 divided by 2, this is 1. 1 times 153 square root of 3 plus 153. So this is the same thing as 153 square root of 3 plus 153. Then plus 2 divided by 1, this is 2. 2 times 56, this is 112. So here we have 153 square root of 3, then plus 153 plus 112. This is the same thing as 265. Everything here divided by 2. Now this is 16 x to the power of 9. Now let's multiply both sides by 1 over 16 and also this side. By 1 over 16 so 16 and 16 are simplifies so that we have x to the power of 9 this is equal to 153 square root of 3 plus 265 divided by 2 times 16 which is 32 substituting the value of x here this means that the square root of 3 plus 1 divided by 2 raised to the power of 9 this is the same thing as 153 square root of 3 plus 265 everything here divided by that 2 and this implies that the square root of 6 plus square root of 2 divided by square root of 8 raised to the power of 9 this is equal to 153 square root of 3 plus 265 divided by that 2. And this is the solution to this math problem.